Depending on where you are in New Orleans, blight can be pretty obvious. But take a look behind me. Is there something in this picture that screams blight to you? Well, there is, and the city of New Orleans is looking to get rid of it. Payphones have been out of commission for years now. Soon, they and their kiosks will be out of sight in New Orleans. What is the benefit of removing these payphones? You know, they're just a symbol of blight. They demonstrate like a lack of interest, and we're trying to make every little bit counts to help improve the city and the perception. Contractors are in the process of removing at least 77 of these kiosks. Some still have money in them. Oh, I see a nickel in there. In the past, New Orleans and many other American cities had laws targeting payphones because of crime concerns. But some of us are old enough to remember a more innocent time when almost every street corner had a payphone and we carried change to make a call. I think I was probably in college. In 1993, that was the last time you used it? Mm -hmm. Who did you call in 1993? My daddy. Your daddy. And my brother. It was last century. I remember back in 1998, I was at St. Aug in a marching band, and I was calling my mom to come pick me up from band practice. The only reason I would use a phone is if I needed a ride or something like that. With more than 96% of Americans owning a cell phone. It's greatly convenient, but I do miss remembering people's numbers. Payphones will pretty soon exist only in memories or the movies. That used to be a part of our history, you know, before we had cell phones and Facebook, Instagram, that was the way to communicate. Even in a city that's constantly holding on to its past, this is one piece we'll likely let go. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News.